morning. Uh, it's Sunday, 23rd of August. Uh, it's probably about quarter to ten. Um, it's overcast, dry at the moment, fairly warm still. There is a chance of rain later on. So um, I've parked at the car park just up from the Bog Visitor Centre at the Stipestones in sunny Shropshire. And my walk today is going to be like 13 miles, there or thereabouts. You know me and my extra miles. Um, so uh, I am heading out towards Minsterley and I shall be going past, uh, I think, Tankerville, um, part of the Hope Valley Nature Reserve, and then Minsterley, where I shall visit the War Memorial and the church if it's open. Um, and then from Minsterley, I shall be heading back, um, coming through Maddox's Wood, I think, and then back over the Stipe Stones, um, and then back to the car park, but there'll be other places in between. I can't remember them all. Um, so yeah, um, there is a slight chance of rain later on. I've got my jacket, I've got my gaiters on, just because of the amount of rain we've had the last few days. Um, but there should be some good sights along the way. Um, like I said, it's a bit overcast, so probably won't see as much as I'd like to, but uh, some still good views so uh, here we go So uh, I've just come across uh, this like, avenue of uh, holly trees here. Now, um, if, I'm, if I remember rightly, the reason that there was, uh, there was actually a place nearby called the Hollies, the reason that there are these holly trees is for cattle. Um, so years ago, they plant holly trees and cattle will eat holly. And uh, when it's the midst of winter and they can't get to the grass all underneath the snow, they will graze on the holly and it's actually good for cows. So uh, I think I'm right in remembering that. So uh, if you ever see like lots of holly trees like this all together, it's for cattle. You'll thank me later. going to be walking down this valley here. Uh, I've just been walking along that ridge line there and 
and over the opposite side was the Stipe Stones, which were in glorious sunshine. It was lovely. It's come down here, and that looks like there's rain coming in. In fact, I can feel rain in the air. <sighs> Can't believe it. It's just in glorious sunshine. Just turned a corner, and now we're in the uh, rain. Lovely. Right, so I'm actually walking along a, uh, a bridleway at the moment. There's a, quite a well-defined track across this field. Um, so the wind seems to... Uh, well, it's, it's still a bit breezy. Um, I mean, the, the rain seems to have passed over. Uh, you can feel spots in the air. Um, but it is feeling very autumnal, I think, today and the last week. Um, I know we're almost in the last week of August, but um, we don't seem to have had a very good August this year. It's been very wet, uh, lots of storms. Um, so, I mean, we'll be in September soon, so is September officially the start of autumn? I can never remember. Um, but yeah, it's been a strange year <laughs> in lots of ways. Um, but uh, it's been strange weather-wise. I mean, we had a really hot, um, well, when lockdown started, the weather was really quite warm. I remember getting out quite a lot. Um, June was a bit hit and miss. July was warm, a bit hit and miss. And August has just been a washout, really. So um, I'm sure the weather will change as soon as the kids get back to school. It usually does, but... Um, it's really nice out here, regardless of the weather. So, uh, yeah, so we're following this path still. This is the style I've got to get over. Right, so I managed to get over the style. I've made my way through a a barley field following the uh, tractor tracks because I really didn't want to walk through the farmer's gorgeous barley. Um, so I'm back on the footpath and we can see Minster the over in the distance and in the very far distance I can just make out the water tower at Shelton. So I'm going to stop at Minsterly and have something to eat.
So that's the church. It's all uh, doing restoration work inside. All fenced off. I managed to find a nice little spot to have uh, lunch. Today's menu was a baby bell, a protein bar and a packet of pom bears. Um, so I'm just um, by the War Memorial over there, so taking a picture of that. It's a shame the church wasn't open but it looks like they're doing a lot of restoration work in there. So uh, all's well, found a little bench by the uh, river, stream, whatever it is. So I'm classing this as kind of halfway. This is Minsterly that I'm in. Um, so I'll be going up that way. Um, heading back now to the Stiper Stones. The bad news is I think it's all going to be uphill. So I'm glad I've had some to it. With this lovely view behind me, I thought I'd uh, just stop a second and just give a shout out to um, three um, YouTube channels that I subscribe to that have kind of inspired me over the last few months during lockdown and beyond. So the first one, um, I suppose at the beginning of lockdown I was feeling a bit lost. I'd just been made redundant from my job. Um, I was feeling slightly anxious about stuff. Um, so I started watching YouTube and I googled Shropshire Walks and a channel that came up was a bloke called a Shropshire Lad um, and I started watching his videos, really liked him um, the fact that he was down to earth, a local chap exploring places uh, that I have been to and some that I have never been to um, and then through him I discovered another channel and that was Dave Outdoors uh, now they go walking together and they do a lot of wild camping together and uh, they were just two really really nice blokes that I could relate to in different ways um, so I've started following them, I've subscribed to their channels watched their videos and uh, I've got chatting to them through YouTube and, and Facebook and just two really nice nice blokes so I highly recommend you know if you want to discover new places in Shropshire that you've never been and fancy going out for a walk or camping, definitely subscribe to their channels. Um, I'll put a picture on of them uh, so you know that you've found the right ones. Uh, and then the third channel, um, so I um searched on youtube for like long trails like i was thinking about doing the west highland way or um the rob roy way um, so i googled them and uh, a young lady came up called abby bonds and i'm actually wearing one of her t-shirts that says stay wild um so her youtube channel is spend more time in the wild and um she is really inspiring she's been through quite a lot I think in her, her life um, different things mental issues that she's overcome um, a lot of them she she may have overcome some but I think she's still going through a lot of other but you know she uses her passion for walking in nature to kind of cope with those issues um, as a lot of us do um, and her videos can be quite raw emotionally um, but she she really is inspiring so um, check her out she's done uh, a few long distance trails in the UK she's uh, done a few in Europe as well I think she's currently over in Germany now doing some trails so yeah check those three out um, you know you'll discover a lot um, definitely the first two you'll discover a lot about Shropshire I have and then they inspired me to do this get my GoPro out and just 
film what I'm doing while I can. Still unemployed at the moment, looking for a job, but I'm kind of coping with things through my love of walking and, you know, how can you not fail to be inspired by views like that? Um, very lucky to live in Shropshire. I call it my home, always has been, and I'm still discovering stuff about it. So, uh, yeah, check them out. And if I've inspired you to get out walking, to um, discover new places in Shropshire, please give me a like. Please leave a comment. It's really nice to know what people think. Um, you know, I'll take constructive criticism as well. So, uh, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't, and please leave a comment on my videos. Oh my god. Did you see? Paul's coppice. God, I'm glad we're not going through there. One time in a week is enough for me. Right, I'm having a severe case of deja vu. I recognise this sign. And I recognise that sign. Oh my god, we're on the Chris Bagley walk again. <laughs> uh, I don't know how long for. It's weird. It's just weird. So yeah, we're following the Chris Bagley walk for a bit. Um, as long as it takes us to the Sniper Stones. Well, not the Chris Bagley walk where it takes us to the Sniper Stones, but as long as my route does. That's just very strange. Okay, so I came out here the other day on the Chris Bagley walk. Um, I went that way, which took me towards Eastridge Woods. We're going this way. And the rain's coming. I think I'm going to have to put my coat on. Here we go, we're at the Hollies. So, perfect emergency ration for a place where snow must have covered the ground for weeks on end. I don't feel like I've got any energy. 
these freaking stones, rocks, whatever they are. If someone's put these in, I mean, why? Why would you? Oh, I am in, my feet are in agony. I feel bruised, bloody climbing over those. I must have done about three miles walking over those. I've walked here before and I really don't remember them stones going on for so long. They might as well have a sign saying we don't really particularly want walkers because uh, they're just uh, excruciating. How are you you're supposed to walk over them? This walk has taken me way longer than it should have. I mean, it's probably about half past four now, and uh, I should I should be back home in theory. But uh, the stipe stones, Jesus Christ, they're absolute agony. Right, I'm back in the car. It's five to five. I've just had to ring Deb to let her know that I'm okay. Because uh, she said the Strava updates had stopped. So she couldn't see where I was. Uh, all in all, I'll be honest. Um, the walk from here, the bog, to uh, Minster Leap was lovely. Uh, really lovely. The views were great. The weather was fine. Minster Leap onwards was a long slog uphill. The views were still fantastic. But then the Stiper Stones, I think I've said all I need to say about the Stiper Stones. Um, I should have finished this walk a couple of hours ago, but um, it was just slow going over the Stiper Stones and I just don't get those paths. They're just awful. Um, but all in all, it's been a good walk. I'm not sure exactly the mileage, um, but I'll put a route on at the end and um, so you can see where I went. Um, but yeah, I just need to go home now. It's dropped really chilly. So uh, yeah, home, tea, bath, bed.